Hello and welcome to the Parkinson's Foundation PD Health at Home Fitness Fridays. My name is Alexandra Gebska and I'm an exercise physiologist from Shilly Ryan, Ability Lab Adaptive Sports and Fitness Center. Our workout today will include balance, stretching, and dual tasking activities. We will work on shifting your focus from one task to the other as we perform different coordination and flexibility exercises. We recommend that you perform these type of exercises two to three uh, times per week. And I'm excited to teach you how to combine them into a fun and effective workout that will help you feel steady on your feet. Our uh, first thing is always make sure you're safe to do your balance exercises. So if you don't feel steady on your feet today, uh, please grab a chair for support and also follow modifications provided by my friend Ricardo. I'll be doing exercises standing, but some of those exercises can be modified to seated uh, versions. Um, Ricardo will also stand up uh, several times throughout this workout to show you modifications with the chair in front or on your side, okay? Um, so equipment needed for today workout uh, is sturdy chair. We'll need that. We'll need one free weight. That if you don't have a weight, you can use a water bottle and we'll use a scarf or a pillowcase for toss and catch exercises. Okay, our workout will uh, have a warm up. So we'll go through about three to five minutes of a warm up. Then we'll do a workout portion and then we'll finish with a cool down. Okay, so let's begin with our warm up. Um, stand with your feet nice and wide. Establish nice, nice big base of support, chest is up, and we're gonna rotate arms all the way out. Stretching all the way back, extending your fingers, keeping your elbows as straight as possible. We'll do seven more. Really pull those shoulder blades back to the spine. Open big, great job, open, open. You can start adding some legs, so many squats. One more, excellent, and now let's Rotate the other way. So imagine swimming forward kind of motion. Your spine is engaging, rounding those shoulders, moving the shoulder blades away from the spine. Big circles. Check with your fingers. We're extending all the way to the fingertips. Great job. Three more. And two. And one. Perfect. Hands on your hips, hula hoop circles. So what you're doing simply is you rotating, circling the hips, keep your legs straight. If you're doing this exercise seated, you can rotate your trunk. So follow Ricardo if you're sitting. Excellent, keep going. And let's switch sides the other way. Mm -hmm. Make sure you breathe right from the start. We'll focus on that deep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Great. Good. Let's stretch those hips even further. You're going to bring your left leg back. Pretty wide stance. Your left leg is back and your feet are straight. Sometimes they'll try to do this, but keep them nice and straight. If you're sitting in the chair, you can drop your right knee back. And now we are reaching out all the way up, tilting away from the stretch. Extend through your fingers. Keep your elbow as straight as possible. Hold it. Now let's add some circles in that shoulder. Follow your hand with your eyes as we open up big. Connect with your feet. We're in that staggered stance that already challenges your balance. Perfect, two more. And then last one. Great, take a deep breath and let's switch legs. The other leg goes back, feet are straight, hips are facing forward, reach up with your arm, elbows are straight, fingers are extended, look up at your hands to check on your fingers and then gently lean away from the stretch. Good. If you're sitting, drop that knee down. Your kneecap should be facing the floor. Hold it up there, breathe. 
Good. Stay steady on your feet and now slowly start moving your arm in a circular motion. Good. Three. All the way back, try to make that movement bigger and bigger. Always focus on that big amplitude, right? Open up, increase range of motion on a single repetition and keep going forward. Good, excellent, and relax. Now place both hands on your hips and then lean back, looking up at the ceiling, squeezing both buttocks, pushing your hips forward. Gently tilt your head back. If you don't feel comfortable tilting your head back, squeeze your shoulder blades back to the spine, keep your head neutral and open up your chest. Hold, good, and relax. Take a deep breath. Pull your shoulder blades back to the spine. And relax, good. Now, stay even wider than we did before. So feet are way wider than your hips. You're gonna bend your left knee, place both hands on your thigh and keep your right leg straight. Good. Stretching your inner thighs, stretching the back of your upper thighs. The more you squeeze your quads, so the front muscle on your, of your thigh, the more stretch you're gonna get in the back of your leg. Let's switch sides. Sink in those hips, shift your weight all the way back. Breathe, hold it, relax your shoulders. Make sure you don't get tensed up in your upper body as we stretch those legs. Good. Again, switch sides one more time. Your left knee is bending, shift weight to your left heel. Right knee is straight, squeezing the front thigh. Hold it, relax your shoulders and breathe. And one more time. Good, hold it, hold it. Squeeze your left quad, left thigh. It's nicely contracted. That will promote more stretch in the back of your leg. Excellent, and stand up tall, perfect. Let's go a little bit more of a dynamic movement. So back to our shoulder circles with a deeper squat. The way we do it is we go down. As you come out of the squat, we circle those arms back. Let's go 10 of them, one. So if you're seated, you can gently lean into the floor and open those arms. Remember your fingers are fully extended working on those hands right from the start. Open big, great job. And breathe, exhale. We have three more. And two, excellent, and one, great work. Okay, so let's start with our first exercise. This one really challenges your hips as we shift weight from one hip delivering the kick to the other hip, doing that on the opposite side. So Ricardo will be showing you modifications with the chair or a walker. If you have a chair or a walker, you keep it either on the side or in front of you. And I'll be showing you a version without any upper body support. So wide feet, and you always want to come back to that wide base of support. So we shift weight to your left, to, I'm sorry, to your right hip, deliver a kick, and then land wide, okay? So that leg sometimes will try to land with a big loud thumb, control that kick, land wide without making any noise, okay? Let's go for it. 16, one, and down, two, and down. Wait a moment, once both feet are on the floor, don't rush that another kick, good. Kick and down, kick and down kick and down. Once you feel comfortable, you can try to make those kicks a little bit bigger and higher. Kick and kick. To activate your hip muscles more, make sure you deliver, deliver that kick to the side and slightly to the back. So from the side, 
I look like this, right? Sometimes it's easier to do it just here, but that motion back and sideways will engage more of your glutes and more of your hip stabilizers, okay? So that's our first one. For our second exercise on the circuit, grab your scarf. So let's collect the scarves. If you don't have a scarf, pillowcase will do it. Face towel will do it. I even saw people using plastic bags uh, to perform this exercise. We'll go one minute of toss and catch, bringing the arm all the way back. So each time you snatch the scarf, bring your arm as far back as possible. Good, keep going. Don't forget to breathe. Excellent, good, up and down. Snatch this scarf, the faster we go, the more fingers you work also up. Stretch out those fingers, big flick, and then switch and catch. Work those fingers by performing that overhand snatch, right? So instead of letting the scarf fall into your hand, snatch overhand grip, make that movement nice and powerful. The higher we go with a scarf, the more power you use to toss it up, the more time you have to catch it. Excellent, keep going. Follow the scarf with your eyes. This is hand and eye coordination exercise, keep going. Last one, excellent. Let's go back to our kicks. So scarves are on the side. Wide base of support, look down in your, at your feet. Make sure you don't start it from here. This is pretty tippy position. This will work your hips harder. Uh, let's shift weight to your right leg, deliver a kick, and then go down. Kick and down. Kick, don't rush another kick. Kick and down, good. Kick and down, kick, down, keep going, kick. Eight more, one, two, land soft, land without making any noise. Up, good, excellent, keep going. We have four more, let's try to pause that kick, down, and again, pause that kick, down. So let's try for it together. Pause, one, two, down. Pause, one, two, down, two more. A little bit harder. Pause, one, two, down. And last one, pause, one, two, and down. Excellent. Uh, let's grab a scarf and one more time, toss on the catch with the scarf. Again, if you don't feel very steady on your feet, if this is difficult, please sit down and Keep your legs wide, up, snatch, bring your arm back. Snatch, bring your arm back. Let's add some rotation to this exercise. So after you catch the scarf, you look how far you go with the scarf. Catch, look how far you go, up. Stretching that trunk, stretching your hips. So all those muscles that are responsible to help you with any movements that require turning, those guys are being stretched in this exercise as well. Up, good, keep going. Up, follow that scarf with your eyes. Great job, almost there. And then back, up, and then back, up, and back, up, snatch it, up, and back. Let's try four more. Snatch all the way back. Follow the scarf with your eyes. Good, keep going up and take a break. Well done. So for the next exercise, we'll uh, still need a scarf, but let's keep it in the pocket. Uh, let's do some balance before we do that. So this is balance and also multitasking. So we're gonna combine some transitional steps um, stepping to the side with some clapping. So talking about, again, splitting attention between taking steps and doing something with your hands. Here's what's gonna happen. Uh, starting off again, feet hip width apart. We will take a pretty big step to the side, open up, and then clap as you come back in to the other side. Step and then clap. The whole movement looks like this. 
step, clap, clap, step, clap, clap, step, clap, clap, step, clap, clap, step, and clap, clap. So that was our little warm up. It is also a um, small movement inhibition. So once you step, we pause it a little bit, and then you come back here, you clap. So don't rush to try to clap right away. So we are staying in sync, right? Let's go together now. We'll go to the left first, big step and follow the beat. Ready? Step, clap, clap, step, clap, clap, step, clap, clap, step, clap, clap, step. Excellent, clap, clap, step. Pull those shoulder blades back, big posture. Step, clap, clap, step. Clap, clap, step. Clap, clap, keep going, step. Clap, clap, step. Clap, four more, step. Clap, clap, step. Clap, clap, step. Two more, step. Clap, clap, last one. Clap, clap, great job. Back to our scarves. So for the first circuit, what we did, it was just a simple toss and catch, pretty simple, right? We'll add a little progression to this and that will require a little bit more attention from us. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna keep the scarf in your left hand, toss it up, tap your opposite shoulder. So tap your right shoulder before you touch, the, uh, before you catch the scarf. So again, toss, tap, snatch, toss, tap, snatch. Let's try it together, 45 seconds per side. Toss, tap, snatch, good, toss, and toss. Remember, only arm, one arm is involved in this exercise. Up, arm is going back, tap your opposite shoulder before you catch the scarf. Keep going, well done. Up, and just like in our previous exercise, the higher you toss the scarf, the more time you have to figure out where your opposite shoulder is. Keep going, toss, tap, and snatch. Toss, tap, and snatch. Last one, toss, tap, and snatch. Okay, um, let's switch sides. So scarf in your right hand now. We will toss, tap opposite shoulder and then snatch the scarf all the way back. Let's go for it, 45 seconds. Up, tap, snatch. Up, tap and snatch. Good. Toss that scarf really high and move your arm all the way back. Use all the power you have to toss the scarf up. Great job, keep going. Up. Fantastic, keep it up, nice and tall. I'm adding some squats to it. So that becomes a little bit more complicated. Once you're ready, once you get the momentum going with the scarf, you can add that squat. Good. Keep going, excellent, keep it up. Almost there, couple more. And last one. Excellent, okay, scarf back in your pocket and let's go to our stepping and clapping exercise. Feet hip width apart and we will go to your left, open big, clap, clap, right, clap, clap, left, clap, clap and right and clap, clap, left, don't rush, open. Open, 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 and open. Good, work those fingers, keep your elbows straight. Open, keep going, we have four more. Open, two, three, and last one, four. Great work. Let's grab the scarf again, single arm toss, opposite shoulder tap, feet wide. Scarf in your left hand, let's go. 
Toss, top your right shoulder. Catch, bring it back. Go. And up. Good. If you feel overwhelmed with all those multiple activities going on in this exercise, you can stop the video, pause the video, try it yourself, create your own space. And once you're ready, turn the video back on and try to stay on the beat and do it with increased pace. Great job, keep it up. We have 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Remember, toss the scarf high at a squat once you're ready for it. Good work. You can look at the scarf, adding another element. Look at the scarf as your arm goes back. Ricardo is even dipping to the side. We can really build up this exercise to become even more multitasking. But again, take it step by step. Uh, let's switch sides, scarf in your right hand, and let's go. Tap your left shoulder. Good. Mm -hmm. Great, we can always build up progressions in this exercise by looking at the scarf, adding a squat, but everything step by step. Great, up and then up, almost there. 15 seconds to go, keep going. Mm -hmm. And then tap, great job. Couple more, good. And last one, excellent work. Uh, scarves are to the side and let's move on to our third circuit. Our third circuit will um, learn exercises that have also functional applications. Uh, so reaching, right? Reaching for something off the high shelf. And we'll show you how to build progressions for those exercises. So anything that requires weight shift um, is being learned in this exercise. And when you think about functional task, it's not just reaching, but it's also turning. It's taking a step, it's walking. Uh, this particular exercise promotes wide base of support and strengthen your hips for balance. We will go to your left first. So reach with your left hand, look at your hand up. So that's step one. And then if you're comfortable with it, shift weight to your left side and pick up your right leg, holding it here and then down. And then our full movement will look like this. Up, both arms are up balancing on your left leg and then coming back down. If you're not ready for it, keep your foot on the floor. I'll be doing progressions. Ricardo will show you see that modifications. We'll go five times, five seconds hold on each side. Let's go to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Down, come back to wide legs, up. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, go again. Engage your eyes with your hands. That will, slightly throw, that will slightly throw you off balance. So be ready to catch yourself. We have two more. Up, you're looking at your left hand, pushing through that left leg, staying nice and strong. One more time. Up, look at your left hand, push through the left heel. Good, hold it, hold it and relax. Look simple, as you can see, it's not, that simple. We feel a little bit shaky. We feel a little bit wobbly, but with practice, you develop some good skills that will keep you more steady. Let's go to the other side. We'll go to your right. So again, you're looking at your right hand first, and then let's pick up that leg up. The other arm is engaged. Look at your hand and then slowly down. Let's do five for five seconds. Go. One, two, three, four, five, and down, up. Progression, you can lift that leg higher. Two, three, four, five, and down. The higher that leg goes, and the more we look at that hand that goes up, the more you challenge your balance. We have two more, up. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. Up, last one. One, 
two, three, four, and five. Great work. Okay, our next exercise will challenge uh, your lower legs, your sense of stability in general. What you will do is um, you'll come up on your tippy toes. It doesn't have to be a full height. And you will try to hold that position for 10 seconds. That's another one that is pretty deceiving. It looks easy, but you'll probably find yourself pretty wobbly around the ankle area if you need to. Keep a chair, keep a chair on your side or in front. Keeping the chair in front provides more stability. Once you're ready to progress, the chair is on the side. And once you're ready to go to step two, there will be no upper body support. I'm gonna be doing the progression, follow Ricardo for modifications, hands on your hips or hold on to the chair, come up on your tippy toes and hold for 10 seconds. If you feel yourself leaning forward, pull your shoulder blades back to the spine, push your hips forward and look straight ahead. Stabilize your gaze, find something on the wall in front of you and look at it, and then slowly go down. Again, up on your tippy toes, hips are going forward. Stabilize your gaze, find something stable right ahead of you and hold. Hold it, five, four, three, two, and one and relax, excellent. One more time, up, one, two, shoulders relax, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, raise those heels, good, and down, excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to our reach. So in the second set, I'll show you progressions for the reach. If you felt very wobbly here doing this, stay with the first version, if you're ready to progress, if you feel more steady on your feet, take a small weight, so water bottle or a small dumbbell, and we will use that resistance to challenge your balance even more. Same exercise, we'll reach five times, five seconds hold on each side. Start off with wide feet. Let's reach to the left. Left arm is reaching up and hold it. One, two, three, four five and relax. Engage your eyes with your hands. Look at the two dumbbell, look at your weight, hold it. Two, three, the higher you can lift that right leg, the more you challenge your balance. Great job. Let's go again. Up, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Two more times. Up, both arms are engaged. The one with the dumbbell goes higher up in the air. I think I'm putting a coffee mug back on the shelf. Good. And then down. Last one. Up. Let's place that plate or coffee mug, putting the dishes away all the way up. And then down. Great job. Let's switch sides. Regain your posture. Always straighten up. Feet hip width apart. Let's go to the right. Follow your eyes. Follow the hand with your eyes. Up. One, two, three, four, and five. Relax. Great job. Up. Sustain that effort. That arm will try to go down. Keep that arm up in the air steady. Good. And then down. Excellent. Up again. One, two, three, four, five. Two more. Up. One, two. If you're comfortable, lift that left leg up, 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 up. Good work. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. We can put the weights away. And let's go back to our heel raises. So we will introduce one more element to our heel raise. Again, if you felt wobbly, or if this happened a lot during your heel raises, during our first uh, set, stay with just this, okay? If you're ready to introduce one more element of so progression for this movement, we will do head turns. You're gonna look behind your right shoulder and slowly move to your left shoulder. Good. And as you can see, that will throw you off balance even more. We're working on your vestibular system here. So the vestibular system also has huge input when it comes to your sense of balance. Good. This is closely related to you controlling your posture or anything you do in your daily life. Activities, good. 
and relax. Good, heels are down. Get steady, we'll do it two more times. Come up on those tippy toes. I shouldn't say on your tippy toes, you should be on the ball of your feet. It doesn't have to be a full height. This, will, this is enough to challenge your balance. So heels are raising off the floor. Look behind your left shoulder and then right shoulder. If you need more time, go with your own pace. Good. Excellent, keep going. We're almost done here. And then last one, great. Shake it off. You should feel it in your calves. You should feel it in your glutes. I'll show you from the side, up again. Hips are forward, pull your shoulder blades back to the spine. Your head should be directly in the middle. So ear, shoulder, hip, ankle alignment. Once we get that going, start turning your head, only if you're comfortable to do so. Great job. Can feel my lower legs are getting a little bit tired. They're a little bit shaky, ankles are wobbling. This is all the good stuff. This really challenges your vestibular system and your postural control. Great job, okay. And let's move on to our last circuit. And for this one, all we need is a scarf. So we will combine our toss with a step. The scarf will be in your left hand and you'll be stepping with your right leg. So step, toss, and then step back. So the toss and the catch and step should happen at the same time, okay? Take your time in doing this. Let's practice first. Toss, step, and catch the scarf. Toss, step, and catch the scarf. Toss, step, catch the scarf. Scarf is in your left hand. You're stepping with your right leg. Keep going. Excellent. Let's practice this one a little bit longer and make sure you're doing this on the opposite side. Left arm is tossing, right foot is stepping. Great job. Six more. This exercise might require some practice, especially figuring out the sides. Sometimes the tendency and your body will tell you to use the same side. So we'll try to step with the same leg, really pay attention to do it with the opposite side. That really mimics the way we're walking in that natural pattern. Opposite arm, opposite leg. One more time, great job. Excellent, let's switch sides. Ready now, scarf in your right hand, your left foot will be stepping. Let's go. Step and catch, go back. Step and catch, go back. Excellent, good. Step and catch and step. Make sure you use opposite leg, opposite hand. Step, good, and step. Engage your eyes with your hands, follow that scarf. This movement will become more natural. Let's go again. Toss and catch, keep going. Mm -hmm. Go with your own pace. This will get better with practice. It might not seem very graceful at the beginning, but don't get frustrated, keep practicing. This will get better. One more. Excellent. And the scarf is back in the pocket. Let's go ahead and start with feet wide. So we really want to look down at those feet and make sure that we're way wider than the hips. Our movement will be reach, go down into a deep squat, and then we'll do 10 flicks. So you're flicking your fingers, fist tight, flick. That's one, two, we'll do it 10 times. Then second set will be nine flicks. Our another set will be eight and then seven, six. So each time we're doing one flick less. Try to stay present and try not to mess up on counting, okay? Ready? Let's go for it. Reach, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reach. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reach. One, two, three, four, five. Reach. One, two, three, four. Reach. One, two, three. Reach. One, two. Reach. One. Great work. Let's go back to the scarf and step. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Scarf is in your left hand. Right foot will be stepping forward. Ready, toss, step, opposite leg. Keep going. Well done. Almost there. We have seven more. One, step. Two, snatch that scarf. Three, keep your eyes on that spark. Four, and five, six. Keep breathing. And last one is seven. Switch legs. Scarf in your right hand. Step with that left leg. Ten. One. Back. Two. Back. Three. Good. Four. Look at the scarf. Stay tall. Five. Make sure your shoulders are over the hips. Six. Seven. Great job. Eight. Nine. And last one is 10. Good, we can put the scarf to the side. Our final exercise, back to our flex, back to counting. We'll start with 10, nine, eight, seven. We'll finish with the loudest and the biggest number one. Ready, let's do this. Reach, one, two, three, four. Keep those arms up, seven, eight, nine, 10. Reach, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reach. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reach. One, two, three, four, five. Reach. One, two, three, four. Reach one, two, three. Reach one, two. Reach one. Great job. We've made it through our circuit. Let's do a quick cool down and we'll be all done for today. Let's start off with arm stretches. We did a lot of arm lifts today. So bring your arm across your chest and now place your elbow. Place your hand right on your elbow and gently stretch. It's like pulling your upper arm to your ribs here, to your chest, turning a little bit and switch sides. The other arm goes across, place your hands on your elbow and pull your arm against your chest, rotating at that rib cage, hold it. Good. Mm -hmm. Excellent, legs are wide. If you're sitting in the chair, bend over, try to reach to the floor, same thing, thing standing, look straight ahead, gently go down, don't force that stretch. Make sure you don't get dizzy. If you feel dizzy, stop, let's come up nice and tall. Open up, push your hips forward. Excellent, let's go down again. And then up. One more time, stretching those hamstrings, reaching, coming up, excellent. And this is it. Thank you very much for joining us for the Parkinson's Foundation PD Health at Home Fitness Fridays. I hope you feel energized. I hope you feel more steady on your hips and I hope you really enjoyed this class. Uh, for more information about the Parkinson's exercise recommendations, as a prescription for people with Parkinson's disease, 
please visit parkinsons.org slash exercise. Thanks again.